Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, red trapezoid uh, A, B, C, D fully inscribed uh, in a semicircle with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, its uh, side length uh, A, B is 14 units, whereas its uh, side length B, C is 30 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, red shaded uh, trapezoid. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And now let's recall the definition of a trapezoid. Sometimes we call it a trapezium. A quadrilateral with at least uh, one pair of parallel sides. As you can see in this given uh, diagram, this side uh, is parallel to this one. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula. Area equals to height h times a plus b all over 2. And here we can see that this uh, is our base uh, a of this uh, trapezoid, whereas uh, this uh, base uh, b of this given uh, trapezoid. And this is the height uh, of this uh, trapezoid. And we can see our base B is 14. So therefore now our task is to calculate this base A and the height of this trapezoid. And here in this next step I have dropped this perpendicular OE on this called AB. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to the chord, then radius uh, bisects the chord. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, AE is going to be equal to the segment uh, AB, since uh, this is our uh, radius and this is our uh, chord. So therefore, uh, this segment AE is going to be 7, the half of uh, 14, and likewise EB is going to be 7 units as well. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped uh, another perpendicular BF, as you can see over here. And we can see O is the midpoint uh, of this uh, segment uh, DF. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, DO is going to be equal to OF. If this segment is uh, 7, then this segment has got to be 7 as well. And likewise, if this segment is 7, then this is going to be 7 as well. And now let's assume that this segment FC is uh, x units. And the height uh, of this uh, trapezoid uh, BF is uh, lowercase uh, h. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, x uh, and the height uh, h uh, as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see the radius uh, of this my circle is going to be OC and OC is simply x uh, plus uh, 7. And in this uh, next step, I have connected this center O with this uh, point uh, B. And as a result, we got this uh, right triangle uh, OFB. And now we can see that this uh, OB is the radius of this uh, semicircle. And we know the radius of this semicircle is x plus 7. So therefore, this uh, OB length uh, turns out to be x plus uh, 7. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle BFC, whose uh, side lengths are h, 30, and uh, x. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, 30. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, formula. So we're going to have uh, h square plus uh, x square equal to 30 square. Let's simplify. We're going to get uh, h square plus uh, x square equal to 900. Let's move this uh, x square on the right hand side. So therefore we can write uh, h square equal to 900 minus uh, x uh, square. Let me label uh, this uh, equation as our equation number 1. And now let's focus on this uh, other right triangle uh, OFB whose uh, side lengths are x uh, plus 7, h uh, and uh, 7. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well. 
and here's our Pythagorean theorem as well a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is x plus 7 this time so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula as well so we got uh, 8 uh, square plus uh, 7 uh, square equal to x uh, plus 7 whole uh, square and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square and we are going to apply it on the right hand side binomial so therefore we can write uh, h square plus uh, 49 equal to x uh, square plus uh, 14 x uh, plus uh, 49 and here we can see 49 and 49 they are uh, gone so therefore we are ended up with the uh, h square equal to x uh, square plus uh, 14 uh, x let me call this our equation uh, number uh, two and here we got these uh, two equations equation one and equation two and we are compare these two equations and we can see the left hand sides are identical so therefore we can equate uh, the right hand sides uh, as well so therefore we can write uh, x square plus 14 x equal to 900 minus uh, x square let's move uh, everything uh, to the left uh, hand side as you can see in this uh, next step now let's go ahead and uh, combine these uh, like terms so therefore we are going to get uh, 2x square plus uh, 14x uh, minus uh, 900 equal to 0 and now we can see all these uh, terms of this equation are divisible by 2 across the board so I'm going to divide each and every term by 2 so therefore we are going to get uh, x square plus uh, 7 x minus 450 equals to 0 and now we can see we got this uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve for x uh, by grouping and factoring so therefore I am going to tweak this middle term 7x could be written as 25x minus 18x as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see x is in common between first two terms and negative 18 is in common between last two terms so therefore we can write x times x plus 25 and then uh, minus 18 factored out so we got x uh, plus 25 equal to 0 and now we can see x plus 25 and x plus 25 they are in common so therefore we can write uh, x minus 18 times uh, x uh, plus 25 equal to 0 let's go ahead and separate them so I can write x minus uh, 18 equal to 0 and the other factor x uh, plus uh, 25 equal to 0 and now we can see x equal to negative value is not possible since x represents the side length so therefore we are going to reject this negative value and we are going to accept x equal to positive 18 so therefore our this uh, x value which is our fc length uh, turns out to be 18 units and now we are going to substitute this x equal to 18 value in this uh, equation 1 to solve for uh, h and here's our equation 1 and I'm going to replace this x uh, by 18 over here as you can see in this uh, next step so therefore we're going to have uh, h square equal to 900 minus uh, 324 let's undo this uh, square by taking square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore our h value turns out to be 24 uh, units so therefore our height uh, h of this trapezoid turns out to be 24 and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole uh, base of this uh, trapezoid uh, cd is going to be the sum of 7 plus 7 plus uh, 18 so therefore this uh, base cd turns out to be 32 units and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, red shaded uh, trapezoid 
And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula once again. Area equals to h times a plus b all over 2. And here in our case, our base a is 32, our base b is 14, and our height h is 24. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. So we got 1 divided by 2 times our height is 24, and then times our bases are 32 plus 14. And if we multiply and simplify the right hand side, that is going to give us 500. 52 square units. So thus the area of this uh, red shaded trapezoid turns out to be 552 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.